crazy bastards welcome back to the Kimball compound for the Andre Corbiel show and we have the 2016 best and worst list and I want to thank Randy for being on the show for as long as he has been and uh, we're gonna miss you brother and uh, keep watching the show definitely and leaving your comments down below and uh, hopefully we see some more Randy's corner and uh, the other show as well out here on my hair so guys follow Randy um, this is his last episode good luck brother and uh, let's get into this best and worst of 2016 we're gonna start it off with the best feud of the year and this is gonna be men's and women's uh, for this category now AJ Styles and John Cena had one hell of a feud and who knows if they're gonna rekindle that in the 2017 for another match or so um, hopefully but that was some great matches the two put together and uh, up for the women obviously yes of course Charlotte and Sasha Banks back and forth awesome matches every time main eventing pay-per-views raw just doing awesome stuff for the women's division so those are my picks what are yours leave them down below if you feel otherwise now the worst I think is Darren Young and Titus O'Neil it was just yeah yeah definitely so let's move on to the best surprise return Shane O'Mac that pop was huge it was awesome the moment was just and it was such a surprise no one no one knew and that's what made it so much fun and I love that and uh, that's what makes wrestling really awesome when you do you don't have the dirt sheets reporting or they can't find out the information when WWE or TNA or anybody else does such a great job of keeping something secret hidden from all until that big moment so that was awesome worst return and it's not their fault this is all on creative and all their bullshit the Dudleys that was such a letdown it could have been so much more and it was uh, could have been and we could have had one of the best trash talkers ever Bully Ray come in on a singles run it, there was so much opportunity there and it looked like they were going for it Dudley's breakup and Bully Ray could have emerged and been that awesome bastard that he is with his fire breathing twit up machine in his head and he could have been doing so much great stuff for the rest of 2016 going into 2017 but we fell flat on that and that really sucks the opportunity was there and they didn't take it so hey it is what it is best gimmick of the year broken Matt Hardy absolutely fantastic has done so much for TNA just amazing stuff and they he has put eyes back on that company like he said he was gonna do by doing something so crazy and outrageous and he's done huge things with this whole broken brilliance thing it is awesome and it's fun to watch uh, the worst I'm gonna stick with TNA here on uh, who was the worst crying Aaron Rex I cannot stand it he came in with so much promise that shoot little deal yeah a lot of people don't like those some people really do but he was telling it straight and oh, he had so much fire and then yeah, I don't know they really really fudged that fucker up I don't know anyway moving on best debut of the year Royal Rumble AJ Styles hell yes that was awesome huge moment huge pop crowd went nuts no one ever thought they would see AJ Styles in a WWE ring and now he is the WWE Heavyweight World Champion hell yes the worst Kurt Hawkins re-debut just a big letdown a big nothing so what was the point then the, uh, we're gonna move on to best entrance of 2016 your first Universal Champion the Demon Finn Balor hell yes that I don't, I don't know any who's ever gonna top that I don't know that's right up there Undertaker stuff and um, it's just fantastic so and I can't wait till he comes back and he's even teasing there's a possibility he's coming back a little early and could be ready for possibly rumble 
maybe WrestleMania, but uh, there's a little slight possibility maybe at Rumble, which would be pretty damn awesome. The worst entrance of 2016. I can't stand this entrance more than anything. Mandrews coming down the ramp on a skateboard and does not use the skateboard as a weapon. Dumb. You have, and now he's turned heel, so it would be perfect. He could use that. I, I hate this. Come down on a skateboard. Come on. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, best opportunist of the year. We're gonna do this two-parter. Alexa Bliss. She has really done a goddamn great job. I've been saying for weeks, and now she's champ. That's pretty damn awesome. And uh, for the men's, James Ellsworth came in as a squash match against Braun Strowman, just got destroyed, but he stuck around and he's done everything he possibly could and he's even earned a contract with the WWE. So you, you, that's, he's an opportunist. He's done his job and he's sticking with it and you gotta give him that, man. So good for him. The worst, Del Rio really fucked everything up. So, and now he's no longer with the company, but he came in took out John Cena for the US title after all that awesomeness that John Cena with the US title open challenge that was awesome we wish we had that back yes please bring it back it would be great but um, yeah Del Rio really just came in hot that was a quick quick sparkler <laughs> it was done and uh, let's move on to best announcer of 2016 it's gonna be new face here, Corey Graves. I think he's doing excellent. Just, just something new, and I totally dig his style. It's great. The worst, David Otunga. Oh my, oh my. Uh, I thought Byron Saxton was bad. David Otunga is horrible. Get him off booth. Sucks, big time. Oh, and uh, Byron Saxton has, he has improved quite a bit from. Uh, what was it like two years ago when he was put on the spot and it was just him out there uh, yeah he has really grown and he's, he's got a decent voice and he can carry a conversation David Okunga Jesus wow <laughs> oh man best tag team of the year sorry New Day you never came you never did the Broken Hardies is your tag team of the year, absolutely. And the days of new never showed up. <laughs> they could have, and the Bucks of Youth as well. The worst, I'm gonna say the Ascension. This tag team in NXT was the longest reigning tag team champions, had so much promise, came in and just, they really messed them up. And they're trying to work their way out of it, but. It's not, nothing's working. Nothing is working. So, and then uh, the, the one dude, I can't even remember, which was Connor, I think he's the one failed the wellness policy, so that didn't help any. I don't know, what do you guys, what do you do with the Ascension? They had so much promise, they had such a fan base, and it's right down the shitter. As soon as they came up to the main roster, they shit on the Road Warriors, and that was it. The fans weren't having it, and <laughs> that was the end. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to rebrand uh, re your entire everything and maybe not even be a tag team anymore because you really did wrong there. <laughs> and it, it's not their fault. Creative is the one that gave it to them. Creative, you should slap yourself across the face and tell your kids what you did to that man and the other man and ruin their lives. No, <laughs> it was a mistake. Things happen. And uh, let's move on to the end here. The best wrestler of 2016 in the ring, on the mic, all around AJ Styles. Just fantastic and phenomenal, pun intended, because every match is fantastic and phenomenal. And he is the champ that runs the camp, the face that runs the place. And no one ever thought he would be in the WWE. So he's done so awesome. And he's been awesome. He's been phenomenal. So congratulations to AJ Styles on being best wrestler of the year from the Kimball Compound list. 
and the worst wrestler of the year I'm not gonna give that one because they all are out there busting their ass men women hitting the roads they're doing the time they're working they're doing everything they possibly can to be the best they can so none of them are on that list sorry Jericho <laughs> and that's a fun thing too the list so guys what is your top 2016 best and worst um, along the lines that I went with or with Andre's or Randy's leave them in the comments down below we want to hear and what did we leave out that you guys would like to see for next year 2017's best and worst list hell yeah it will catch you in 2017 and so will TNA they will catch you in 2017 with their live shows being announced Dave Meltzer this has been going on for far too long brother every year doom and gloom they're going out they're going under and then boom next year announced TV tapings <laughs> the best and worst dirt sheets we should put that out there but I'm not going to they're just trying to earn a living and feed their family so guys I will catch you guys next week here on the Andre Corbiel show with a new guy or girl who knows We'll find out. 